So as much as I hate looking at this video footage, I have to show you the before. I have completely destroyed my room in order to do this makeover. Everything came out of closets and out from under the bed. It's flowing out the door. It is time to declutter, clean everything, and let's change this up. So now that I've had a chance to get my room nice and clean and totally decluttered, which you guys, it feels so good to have a decluttered space. I just stripped everything down because I'm completely changing my bedding. If you saw a few videos back, then you know that I am on the lookout or have been on the lookout for some new bedding. I wanted to change up the feel in here. And so we'll be adding in the options that I purchased um, onto the bed today. And then I really just want to work with a lot of items that I already have. I did not want this to be a very high dollar amount makeover because it's going to be very neutral and I do plan on changing things throughout the season. And so um, as spring and then summer come along, I want to be able to use my budget to buy seasonal specific items that will enhance everything in here. And I really didn't want to pour a bunch of money into this particular makeover for that reason. Before we get into the makeover though, I wanted to share with you a fabulous company that I've partnered with for this bedroom refresh. If you haven't heard of Delilah Home, you are missing out on a home textile company that believes in creating sustainable, organic, and beautiful textiles for your home. They believe that what you put on your body is just as important as what you put into it, and I couldn't agree more. I've been using their 100% organic cotton sheets for just over a week, and they are so soft. They make getting into bed at the end of a long day something I have been really looking forward to. So I'd love to thank Delilah Home for sending me these wonderful organic sheets for my bedroom refresh. If you're interested in seeing more products by Delilah Home, I'll include a link to their website below. Now I purchased this diamond pattern quilt at Target and I love the neutral texture that it brings into the space. You can see here Molly is with me. She's always just underfoot. Anytime I'm doing something upstairs, she always follows me up here and keeps an eye on me. I'm just really enjoying this diamond texture because I want to keep things really neutral and so having this textured pattern on the quilt really does help sort of level up the bedding. Now because we also have some cold nights here in Florida still, I wanted to use this duvet cover. This is a waffle weave. I believe it was the Threshold brand at Target, but the weaving just brings in another textured look, just slightly different than the diamond pattern on the quilt, and I love to try fold the duvet at the end of the bed because when we're not using it, it gives a lot of height and thickness to the look of the bed and it makes it look a little bit more lush. But having it there on cold nights is nice to just be able to pull it up and use it when you need it. And you can see how this waffle weave texture really does bring out the look of the duvet cover and give a little bit more interest to the bedding. And then um, our mattress, we have a sleigh bed and the mattress doesn't sit right up against the metal bars. So I have a body pillow there in the back to keep our pillows from slipping down into the opening. And then I'm just placing these um, everyday use pillows here in the back. And then I'll cover them um, with some Euro pillows that I picked up on Amazon 
and I actually have not been able to find any covers for these that I like yet so I'm just leaving them plain but eventually I'll find something that I like that maybe will bring in some color and then to the front of the euro pillows just adding in one more set of pillows and these have the waffle weave sham on them and then of course it's not quite spring yet so we're going to turn this pillow around because I do love the cute green pom-poms on the trim. Now I'm just bringing in an enamel farmhouse style pitcher. I like the look of this white pitcher in front of my black lamps. I love these lamps. I had considered getting rid of them, but I just really like the look of them still. So I'm enjoying having that little flower um, arrangement there. And then to the other side on my husband's side, I'm just placing this little clock. It's really cute and it does have a little bit of that old world look to it with the bronze trim on the outside of it. And then to this corner table, we're adding a glazed blue and cream colored um, pitcher. Now these stems I got at Target and I just picked them up from their spring line and I really like the wispy look of them. They'll bring a little bit of color and life and just a hint of spring here into this corner and I like the height that it adds to the table. And I never cut my stems. I don't know if you guys do this too, but I always bend them. You never know when you're gonna use these stems in a tall vessel and you're gonna want that height back. So just folding them and placing them in. And then to the front of the table, this old vintage Bible that I have here. I love the warm coloring of the outside of this Bible. And then on top of that, I'm just going to place this super cute little taper candle holder. Now I'm bringing in my grandma's antique chair and take a look at this crocheted throw blanket. How beautiful is the detailing on this? And I really just wanna kinda toss this over the back of the chair so it looks very casual. And then on top of that, I'm adding this floral print pillow. It does have a, a polka dot pattern on the back, um, but I'm really looking for that sort of vintage and cottage look, so I love the floral. So now I'm moving over to the other side of the room where my dad's vintage roll top desk is. I had considered over the years refinishing this and I'm so glad I never did. I love the dark wood look of it. And then to the side of that, a aged flower pot and some florals that I picked up at Michael's last season. I'm sorry, last year. And then this candle, I picked this up from the threshold line and I love the wood wick. In a few minutes you'll see it'll be burning and I'll let you guys listen in on the sound of the wood wick as it burns. It crackles and creates such a pretty sort of relaxing environment over here in the corner. And of course, I love vintage books. I love collecting all different types of books um, in certain color schemes for the seasons. I'm just placing them here on this side of the desk. Now on the opposite side of the bed, I have this vintage dresser. I picked this up at Jericho Road Thrift Shop years ago and refinished it. And then take a look at this photo. We were babies here. I think I was 19 in this picture. Sure. And my husband and I got married young and we are still very much in love. So I love having that picture here along with this false graph picture of flowers and then I always like to bring a candle in front of a photograph so that at night when the lights are dim the candle glow reflects up onto the image and really does bring out and enhance that portrait. On the opposite side of the room I have this storage bench that my husband made me years ago and on top of it I'm just going to add this ironstone wash basin and pitcher along with this laundry basket. I just have a pillow in here to kind of um, take up some space so that when I throw this blanket over top it doesn't fall down too much. 
then on top of that we'll be adding in just a few pillows that I picked up last year at Target from their spring line we've got a green and white gingham print and then a neutral floral print And I just wanted to add a few finishing touches. I felt like the bed was really pretty, but it needed some more texture here at the foot. So I'm just placing in this woven basket along with one more neutral colored throw blanket, lighting a few candles, making sure everything is just right. And here is that crackle candle sound. I love the way this low cost bedroom refresh came out. It's not quite spring yet, but I am so longing for the warmer weather. And adding in these soft blues and greens really did help make my room feel like a nice early spring calm area. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please be sure and hit that like button, click the notification bell, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. I'd love to see you return on future videos. I hope you're having a wonderful week, and I will see you next time. Take care.